Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a World News Flash Update. Today's date, September 23, 2024. Time in Texas, about 4 p.m. So we see Israel uh, launching uh, an aggressive uh, ground invasion of Lebanon to begin uh, in several hours. They have been bombing Lebanon for several hours and uh, there's a potential that we may see other nations come to the aid of Lebanon. Now currently uh, Israel has been firing into Lebanon for the past 24 hours. Lebanon has been firing into Israel. Lebanon has taken out the airstrips for Israeli jets. So Israeli jets are now landing at a nearby island, Cyprus. Half of it is ruled by Greece and half by Turkey. In the Greece portion of Cyprus are several UK bases and uh, Russia had said if Cyprus lets uh, Israeli jets land at the UK bases, that um, there may be strikes then on the UK bases, perhaps not directly by Russia. Russia does want the UK air bases on Cyprus taken out. So other nations in the Middle East may take out those UK bases, which are now allowing Israeli jets to land as they are engaged in a direct attack on Lebanon. So Hal Turner and brings this out and Reuters has confirmed Israeli jets are landing on Cyprus at UK air bases. Hezbollah warns, uh, Hezbollah has made this direct threat that they will bomb the UK air bases if the Israeli jets land there. And as I said, Russia wants the UK bases taken out. So it's believed this may be a potential setup uh, if Lebanon attacks the UK bases on Cyprus. This might activate NATO Article 5. Now we have this. Israel has hit since uh, early last night and early this morning. Israel has hit inside Lebanon 1,000 targets. And Israel, inside Israel, 10% of its 9 million Israeli citizens are currently in bomb shelters. Now this is coming out. Reuters confirms Israeli jets are la landing on the island of Cyprus at UK air bases because, uh, and Reuters is reporting because the Israeli airfields are damaged. Currently in Lebanon, uh, Dead are 356 Lebanese, wounded 1,246. Now we have this. The U.S. just a few minutes ago has okayed Israel's ground invasion of Lebanon to be operating out of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. And D.C., Washington, D.C., has been informed of a large-scale military invasion of Lebanon, which the U.S. okays. Now, this is coming out just also a few minutes ago. Many nations have been warning their citizens to leave Lebanon. Just about five minutes ago, China to its Chinese citizens inside Israel evac immediately and now we'll look at what's going on in ukraine moon of alabama brings out this information from gilbert dr rowe 
Gilbert, Dr. Rowe has uh, decades of experience. He's based in Europe, Brussels, as a specialist in Russian and East European matters. He's a European independent geopolitical commentator. And he brings this information out. That there recently was a strike on Israel by the Houthis using hypersonic missiles. And Gilbert Doctorow puts out that that hypersonic missile would have needed uh, satellites and intel to strike inside Israel. Gilbert Dr. Rowe says that this uh, satellite information and intel targeting most likely came to the Houthis from Russia. And now we see Israel going into Ukraine to set up the Iron Dove, Iron Dome air defense system inside Kiev. And uh, this is going on. Russian, uh, the Washington, D.C. deep state control group are saying Russia will take all of Ukraine and then they'll They'll want to go into Poland, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. So this is being put forth. Now we're seeing there was a recent uh, combined NATO and Ukraine incursion into Russia to Kursk to take over the Kursk nuclear power plant. We understand that combined NATO and Ukraine forces, 20,000 went in. It's being reported 15,000 have been killed and the remaining 5,000 are surrounded. Now we see what's going on in Ukraine is that Russia continues across Ukraine up to the Oskol River meeting with little or no resistance because Ukraine is out of troops and out of equipment. And we see Zelensky, uh, we believe, uh, complicit in a Ukraine sniper team inside the U.S. to take out President Trump before he can be elected in November and end the Ukraine war. We know that's going on. And we see Zelensky inside the U.S. wanting the U.S to become direct participants uh, formally and publicly become direct participants with Ukraine in its war against Russia. And, but, and Zelensky is asking for the U.S. to okay U.S. and U.K. long-range missiles. And uh, Gilbert uh, Dr. Rowe had also brought out this information that those long-range U.S. and U.K. weapons from inside Ukraine into Russia also require U.S. satellites and U.S. intel. And as I had brought out in a previous video, Secretary of Defense Austin and a recent Ramstein Air Force uh, military base meeting in Germany said, Ukraine has its own weapons capable of attacking targets well beyond the range of the British Storm Shadow cruise missile. So we see Zelensky's uh, stumping for the OK to, uh, from U.S. and U.K. for long-range missiles from Ukraine into Russia is simply a deep state ploy to... Uh, bring the U.S. and U.K. in as direct participants against Russia. And Russia had said, as this happens, uh, there may be bombings on the U.K. and U.S. This concludes my flash update. It's good to pray for world peace. I love you and I'll see you soon.